working with equations uh, with variables on both sides. So you'll have them on the left hand side and on the right hand side. Our goal is to still isolate the variable on one side. So we need to decide which side we want it to um, of the equal sign and all numbers to the other side. So really what we're trying to get, and it doesn't matter which side you want, but we want variables all moved to one side, and we want all numbers, just plain numbers for our constants, constants on the other side. All right, our first step is not going to change. The first thing we're going to do is still distribute. So if you see parentheses, make sure you distribute. And do not forget the sign. And this is always, we're working with each side of the equal sign individually. Next, again, look at both sides. You're not crossing over the equal sign at all. We're looking at the left side and doing this, and we're looking at the right side and doing this. Next, we're going to add like terms on the same side. Do not cross over the equal sign. After this, you're going to move the variables to one side of the equation by zeroing them out. And then you're going to move the consonants to the other by zeroing them out. So then we're going to zero out the consonants by undoing the adding or subtracting. And then again, whatever you do to one side, you must do to the other. But remember, again, we're trying to get variables on one side. And our constants are numbers on the other side. Last, we're back to solving those equations. We're going to undo. Um, we're we're going to undo the multiplication and division, which is going to isolate the variable. So we're going to undo it. The multiplication division very last we never undo multiplication division and then to get by the exact same number and then check your answer all right so i'm going to walk you through um four examples and then i'll leave you guys some on your own first thing and again some of you don't need this as necessary as others but right here I have two sides. So I'm going to do each those steps on each side. First thing I'm looking at, is there anything on this side that I need to distribute? No. Is there anything on this side that I need to distribute? No. So my next step is I need to look to see if there's anything on this side that I can combine. Well, I can't combine 11x and I can't combine 9. So nothing on that side. I look over here. I have x's and numbers. Nothing to combine. This is our next step. And I don't care where you take them. I would do variables on this side, and we want numbers on this side. So next, I'm going to move these two x's that are negative, and I want to bring them over here. But to bring them over here, I need to undo them. So right now, if I have a negative 2x, to make it so there are no x's on that side, I am going to add 2 and the x. I'm moving all of it with me. So I'm taking all my variables to this side. I'm going to add 2 and x. Then um, from there, I'm going to move all my numbers to the other side. So I'm going to subtract 9, and I'm going to subtract 9. So now if you look at this, I have 11x that are negative, and I have 2x's. That will leave me with negative 9x. I had a positive 9. I had a negative 9. That's 0 now. I have nothing left over here. I had a negative 2x, and I added 2x's. This is also 0. And then on this side, 45 minus 9 will give me 36. So again, if you look, I have variables. All my variables move to one side. All my numbers move to the other. 
Now we're down to our last step, which is to divide. Well, right now we're multiplying by negative 9. So the opposite of multiplying is to divide by the exact same number. So I'm going to divide by negative 9, which will give me 1 there. But if I divide this side by negative 9, I divide this side by negative 9, leaving me with x equals negative 4. And if we plug this negative 4 in, anywhere I see x, I'm going to replace with negative 4. So 11 negatives times 4 negatives would give me a positive 44, and 44 plus 9 would give me a third, or, sorry, 53. And then on this side, I would have 2 negatives times 4 negatives, which is positive 8, and 45 plus 8 is also 53. So that means that our answer is correct. All right, again, I'm going to draw the line just so you see you have to do each side first before you start moving things. So first thing I look for, is there anything to distribute on the left? No. Is there anything to distribute on the right? Yes. So this side is not going to change. There's nothing to distribute there. But I can distribute this. And again, make sure you pull those signs in front. So positive 4 times uh, negative 3 is negative 12n. And positive 4 times positive 2 is positive 8. Now I'm looking to see if I can combine any terms. On the left-hand side, I have negative 4n minus 8. Well, I have numbers, and so I have n's and I have numbers. Those can't be combined. On this side, I have n's and I have numbers. Those can't be combined. So now I'm going to start um, undoing and bringing all of my variables to one side and my numbers to the other. So if I have 12 negative n's on this side, I need 12 positive n's to zero those out. But if I add 12 n's to this side, I have to add 12 n's to this side. Make sure that you're lining up like terms. On this one here, I have a negative 8 end. Again, I want variables on this side, and it doesn't matter which side you take them to. But for us starting, we're just going to take variables to this side and numbers to the other. So I have a negative 8, so the opposite is a positive 8, which means I need a positive 8 on this side. And if you look, I have a positive 12 end on that side now, positive 12 end on this side. I have a positive 8 and I have a positive 8. So I did the exact same thing to both sides. And now I'm going to combine my like terms. Well, I had 12 minus 4, which left me with 8n. I had a negative 8 and a positive 8, so that zeroed this out. I had negative 12 plus 12n, so that one zeroed here. And then 8 plus 8, which is 16. Our last step. Now I'm multiplying by n by 8, so the opposite of multiplying is dividing by the exact same number. So if I multiply by 8, I divide by 8, which gives me 1. Divide by 8, n equals 2. So I brought all my variables. Anything that was attached to a variable to this side, anything that was just a number, I moved to that side. All right, this one. Again, I have two sides, and this one's going to take a little more work. My 5 has no, I have parentheses right here, so I realize that I'm going to be distributing. My 5 has nothing to do with my distributing, so that leaves me a plus 1 third that's being multiplied through here. So 1 third of 6 is 2x, and 1 third of 9 is 3. So I've taken care of the distributing on the left-hand side of my equal sign. I now need to take care of my distributing on the right-hand side. So I'm going to put a 1 here. A negative 1 times x is negative 1x, and a negative 1 times negative 4 is positive 4. Next, I want to combine. You could start moving here. It will work, but I'm going to combine. First thing I'm going to do is combine. So I look and I see that I can put this and this together because they're both just numbers. So now over here I would have 2x. And then if I have 5 plus 3, I'm going to have 8. And then I, on this I'd have negative 1x plus 4. And I'm going to show you both ways. Like I combine mine first and then I'm going to move. Or you could just start moving. Um, all right, so I want all my variables. Again, I want variables to one side, and it does not matter what side. I would do it a certain way, but as we start out, let's just take all variables to the left, numbers to the right. So I have a negative 1x. I need that to come to the other side, so I'm going to add 1x. If I do it to this side, I do it to this side. 
I have a positive 8, so no numbers, sorry, no letters attached to it, no variables. I need to move it to the other side. And to move to the other side, we have to undo. So now you can look. Positive 1x, positive 1x, negative 8, negative 8. So I'm doing the same thing. 2 plus 1 will leave me with 3x right here. 8 minus 8 is 0. And then 1x that's negative plus 1x that's positive gives me 0 here. And then 4 plus negative 8 is negative 4. And so by the time we're done, our last step right here is right now we're multiplying x times 3. So the opposite of times is dividing by the exact same number. So your final answer you'll leave just like this as a fraction. All right, on this D, I'm going to show you what would happen if you move before combining. It will still work. You can move everything before you combine. I just like to combine first because it simplifies it at the end. But it will still work. It will still work. You'll have to just combine at the end. So first thing I look for is I see parentheses right here. So I know I'm going to distribute. So I'm going to take this negative 4 times x, which will leave with negative 4x. And then I'm going to take this negative 4 times negative 3, which will give me 12, positive 12 and they have plus 10x. On this side, there's no distributing, so I bring everything down. And now, you can either combine here and then start moving, or you can just start moving. Again, anything with a variable we want on this side, and anything that's a number we want on that side. So this is why I said it will work either way. So we have negative 2x, which would be plus 2x, plus 2x. Now, there's no more x over here, so I've moved everything with an x to this side. I need to get rid of this neg this 12 um, to this side, so I'm going to subtract 12 over here. You'll notice that I don't I ha still have 10x, but it already has a variable, so I can leave it here. So I'm going to put it right here. Actually, I'm not going to put it there because I'll throw you off. So now I can start. This is just going to come straight down. Let me do this. This will come straight down because I'm not going to do anything with this till the end because then I'm going to combine. It's kind of why I like to combine first, but it will work. So negative 4 and 2x gives me a negative 2x. Positive 12 and a negative 12 give me a 0. And then I have my plus 10x that I did not move. But you can notice anything with a variable is on this side. Now over here, a negative 2 and a positive 2 is going to 0 out. And then 28 minus 12 is going to give me four, or 16, 16 right here. Now I'm going to have to combine because now I have all my x's on this side. So I'm going to have to combine and then move over. So I'd have 10 x's and two negatives, which will leave me an 8x equals 16. So nothing over here had to be done because I already only had numbers over here. Over here I only had to put these together because they both have an x. And so our last step, right now I'm multiplying by 8. The opposite of multiplying by 8 is times or er, dividing by 8. That will give me 1. Divide this side by 8, leaving me with x equals 2. All right, you have E, F, G, H, and I on your own. Um, again, some of you are to the point where you don't need this, but if it helps, remember you're doing each side first before you start moving them over to the other side. All right, give those a try.